Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for July 2020 and you came in in fourth place with 47 likes. Thank you very much for all your beautiful likes and I hope you are enjoying all the readings and I hope to see you and meet you in the live session. Friday was a lovely evening. We had a discussion evening and what um, came out of the discussion is that uh, people like to interact with each other and with me as well vice versa I love doing that too to get to know you and there will be more evenings like that as um, that came to daylight so if you're, uh, you're you're my cyber angel hi welcome thank you very much for coming back like I said and if you're new then welcome to the channel and I do go live usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you should be notified but I do notify through Facebook and Instagram and the community tab on YouTube as well. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm using the same spread as what I do for the weeklies except it's not days it is weeks one two three and four and this is the querent card or the overall energy and the four corners are uh, clarified uh, by the Lenormand or vice versa that's how much how you get more information I've also got the romance oracle deck here and I've got surrender and that could be help helpful in um, taking action in something or forgive uh, sorry or the answer of the angels is also taking action or knowing uh, as to what you could do in a situation or if you have a question okay the first card that you have is the eight of cups you are fed up with the routine and the good old stuff you want adventure you want excitement okay that's fine you can still do that in perhaps in the present relationship um, that you have um, but don't um, I'm saying be careful what you are wanting because um, it might not be always what it uh, what it seems you know sometimes you're wishing for something and the grass is not greener on the other side you never know I'm getting to hear this could be a message for somebody in particular don't think that it's all that fantastic let's say at the neighbors or in a specific household you don't know what is going on behind closed doors perhaps somebody might have a bad habit in lying I'll come to that card in a minute but um, now that I'm getting this message through uh, from the other side the grass is not greener um, that is one way of, um, of what I'm hearing and the other one is I see a white do door with two win little it's like two windows and there is a cross in a door it could be significant the door knob is on the right hand side if you're facing it and two little windows and you know you can't see what's happening behind uh, a closed door because it's only got two little windows you can't see through the rest you see um, this is the symbols that I'm seeing um, and there might be somebody behind that cli closed door that is making things look better to the outside world than what they are really are okay the first uh, the second card that you have is uh, for week one that's the page of rods there might be somebody younger could be a fire sign a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo that is bringing you news this news could be about passion this news could be a, about action um, this uh, could also be good news with regards to creating this excitement that you are wishing so something is being brought into life that is also what I'm seeing um, excitement um, also adventure you might be going on holiday because this card is obviously travel you want to travel that is exciting in itself and it is holiday period we are in cancer and we are in July um, 
cancer or July cancer is July and August so that is also could be at the end of August um, but cancer is a nurturing loving passionate um, energy and uh, sensuality and sexuality and then we come to the devil and when I saw this card I thought oh no I don't like the devil um, but like I said everything has two sides to it has more uh, meaning to it than just what the basic meaning is like addictions um, that could be drinking or that could be uh, too much sex <laughs> getting burned out being the devil have that drive all the time that passion you know sex is okay but passion doesn't last it has to be love so if um, you're burning the candle on both ends then take care of yourself a little bit more that is what the devil is and don't be manipulative don't be manipulated in a relationship because that will want to make people go or rather if you are being manipulated by somebody in a relationship whether it's a permanent relationship or whether it's just a passionate relationship uh, because you have got a lot of fire okay then you that is bad you will get burned out if you are ban uh, burning the candle at two ends if you are drinking too much you can get a, they can get aggressive if it isn't you look you've got your hands free you can break away from the devil okay look I don't know whether you can see it because I do have my hands all over it and actually the devil is waving so goodbye take that literally say goodbye to bad habits and somebody might you might want to leave because you are being manipulated you might feel that you are somebody's slave that is um, I'm reading for thousands of people but if you are in a new relationship with a fire sign as I always say make sure you keep the communication going and um, that you take it step by step because you'll get burned out definitely um, because you've got fire all over the place now the devil is also a Capricorn okay and you have also well yeah the devil represents Capricorn and we've got the high priestess but she doesn't she represents the moon goddess and the moon um, is Pisces so it could be a Capricorn or a Pisces that you might be meeting or a fire sign because you've got a lot of fire okay that is Aries Leo or Sagittarius yeah sorry I just had to take a sip of water um, so if you are in a manipulating uh, or in a relationship there it, where there is uh, addiction or manipulation or bossiness and you feel the slave I can understand that you want to leave but don't just leave seek help please seek help from somebody okay um, and listen to your intuition okay listen to your intuition the grass is not greener on the other side you don't know what's happening behind closed doors perhaps this is the person that is saying well my life is fantastic and I'm traveling and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and my my partner is um, lovey-dovey whilst they could be the one that is the devil so don't believe it okay don't believe everything everybody tells you listen to your feelings okay now in the third week we have the ace of the ace of rods and the ace of rods uh, is a new beginning this could be in a hobby this could be in a relationship a partnership um, if it is, was a general reading then it could be also work but this is a romance reading so you could be starting a new relationship with a fire sign or like I said with a Capricorn or with a Pisces 
those are the dominating uh, signs that you can start this new passion with and if you want a long-term relationship then make sure that you know the boundaries and you let them know what the boundaries is okay Virgo because the fire signs are dominating characters they go for what they want and what they believe and I've seen it several times it more than five times definitely that um, when a fire sign gets burned they can turn into the devil everybody anybody can if they are in um, a divorce okay but the fire signs they they love their partner so much that is they are so passionate about them they will fight for what is theirs they see you as theirs okay um, and they're, they're, they're lovely people because they want to hold on to what they know and they want to like I said they want to hold on they don't want to lose they will they are fighters they are fighters and that's why they are also good partners to have because they d they will fight to protect you and to what belongs to them okay now in the fourth week you have the high priestess you see the white pillar and the black pillar so balance balance is needed okay make sure that there is balance there is also a doorway that the angels are giving you this is the eleventh card okay listen to your feelings uh, you might be highly sensitive especially if things are difficult you are are bored here and you might be highly sensitive so people can you might be easy to influence um, like being being pushed around by somebody uh, easy to influence means that you are uh, a nurturing caring soul and um, uh, you're a pushover you're a pushover that's what I'm hearing as well and don't be a pushover for other people's power or manipulation or what they say Net, not everything is true there must be a twinge in your tummy or in your mind a new idea you can feel it by your water that is another saying that's coming out you can feel it by the water your 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 tummy um, your intuition when something is right or wrong okay let's get strange sayings out coming out here yeah um, you know when people say something is not right I can feel it in my water there you are that's the proper saying now there could be arguments and disagreements I'm sorry yeah so walk away walk away from arguments the devil like I said if somebody is drinking too much or if somebody is manipulative you don't want to be a pushover and be pushed around you want to leave so yeah walk away from it walk away from it but don't walk away permanently wait until the situation is cooled down and then talk about it gently okay and otherwise get help to a mediator you might have applied for help and you might be getting news that somebody's coming in to help you okay that could be somebody that's very sensitive some you could be going to a medium you could be going to uh, a, a psychic and asking them f uh, to fill or a life coach because she's got the book of life the book of wisdom you might go and see a social worker um, because they have studied uh, to help people in relationship or a marriage guidance counsel officer so in every country it's called differently you might seek help an arbitrator to settle the uh, argument or uh, the um, addiction okay now you have the boat 
your boat is coming in. This could be money, this could be love, and since we're doing the romance deck here, uh, it could be if you have no love, your love could be coming in. But make sure that you know all there is to know about this person so that you can build it on proper foundations. I'm not using the cartomancy or the numerology in the Linamon, I'm just using the uh, the picture. Okay, so your abundance is coming in. You're going, hearing news about this abundance. This could be a new love. This could be adventure. This could be travel because he's walking away. So walking, you're going somewhere. There could be um, help coming in, abundance, to help you to love and to come back into balance and to maintain this relationship. If that is either of your, you, the choice of you. You're taking action. You're getting, getting news about your action. There is a new beginning. Se action is being taken. You've done it. Okay. Now, you've got the key as well. So the key means you hold the key to open that door to go away or to walk away from drama, somebody else's drama, to walk away from the manipulation. And you might seek help from an institution to move on to something new. There could be help that will bring in something fresh and positive and new because you are taking action and something is giving. You're, you're breaking away from the negativity you have choices to make. You've got the cross. And I said institution. That is an institution. The cross is a symbol of the institution, religious institution, a spiritual institution. So like I said, you might be seeking a, a, a social worker. She's also from an institution. Or, yeah, in this case, you might even seek advice from a lawyer because I see business papers um, and you've got the key here but in f if you look through the keyhole you also see a sort of letter it could have been in an envelope so and it's got a seal on it so it could be official it could be an old love letter Ooh. perhaps somebody has kept the secret and that was the bad habit that he had uh, that they had too much sex drive because there is a lot of fire and they they were uh, they were addicted to that perhaps that is it and you don't want that you want not only passion you also want love and romance perhaps you've sought help to change that to l make them f listen to your feelings and to their own to get to know themselves better okay have faith and trust that is what the cross means the cross means also you m might feel depressed and you're too much up in your head and you're breaking free you're coming out of your shell you're taking action and you're walking away from negativity be it yours, sorry, that's water again, um, that is your negativity or their negativity, you're breaking free, so it's up to you whether you want to save the relationship and of course with them, they need to work with you and they need to go with you to the institution or the arbitrator that works for an institution you have choices to make because you are coming to a crossroads in your life. What is it that you wish? 
be careful what you wish it's not always what you expect it to be like I said at the beginning somebody might be just um, poking the fire and trying to make arguments come to life okay between you and your loved one perhaps that is the fifth wheel on the wagon I don't know somebody like perhaps somebody else is trying to come in between you cutting you away because they want your partner anyway there is true love this is a romance of a lifetime if you are coupled up then lo don't let anybody come in between you that's a very strong message surrender to creativity oh you've got creativity all right you are creative that is the excitement perhaps that is what is your bad habit you need to feed your creativity go ahead but also be creative with your partner brings you closer together let your imagination soar take open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem there you are be creative well the creativity is is go and seek help with this situation you also need to forgive yeah. I know you can't forget learn from what has happened but you need to forgive if you want to stay in this relationship or pursue this relationship if it is a new relationship you need to know all sides of the story you need the figures and the facts that is what I'm getting the bookkeeper listen to this is my intuition the bookkeeper just one word and I interpret it you need to dig deeper into the book don't judge its cover know the contents that is the message here then you can understand and forgive and you, you or they can take action to change okay okay I thought this was an awesome reading strong messages again well take care and I thank you very much for the likes and shares and if you want to climb up the leather and be number one then keep on hitting that like bell would you like a one-on-one -on -one reading then please look below the video and in the right hand corner and I do go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please join us then and I do send out notifications in the community tab and Instagram and Facebook take care have a wonderful month in the romance and have a beautiful time Stay safe.